Hi, Joy Riders. Welcome to my big fat nomad van life. Hey, y'all. In this video, I'm going to share the story of four people who were kidnapped in Mexico. Two were returned. Two, unfortunately, didn't make it. As a person who lives mostly in my mini camper van and takes long road trips, this story and the lessons learned that I will share are not going to be important to all travelers. So that's whether you live in a van or you just travel in a van or in your car or in an RV. And this is especially going to be important to you if you travel out of the country. Okay, shall we begin? Tell me once not to go to Mexico and shame on you. Tell me twice, shame on me. That's my motto and I won't need a third warning because I ain't never leaving the country and I will never go back to Mexico. I don't feel that international travel is safe right now because there have been too many unsettling incidents that have happened to Americans and Mexico and elsewhere, such as the Brittany Griner story in Russia, Natalie Holloway's story in Aruba, Shanquilla Robinson case in Mexico, Kent Carter murder on a resort in Turks and Caicos. The cartels had a shootout. Otto Wimber case in North Korea. My lawyer friend told me about some situations his daughter has even been involved in in Germany. Now I know tragedies happen everywhere including the U.S. and there are more stories out there but these are the stories that have stuck with me someone who is fast as someone who is fascinated with true crime stories. With this tragedy that happened in March of 2023 of the four Americans and the two of them come back and two of them don't, it's just not worth the risk for me. So the four Americans, Latavia, Latavia Tay McGee, Shahid Woodward, he didn't come back. Zendale Brown didn't come back. They, those two passed away or were made unalive. And Eric James Williams. So here's what happened. According to news reports, Latavia McGee's cousin, Shahid Woodward, and two male friends drove her in a minivan from South Carolina to Metamortis, 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 where she was planning to have a tummy tuck. Things took a tragic turn when they were mistaken for Haitian drug smugglers. The group was fired upon and kidnapped by a cartel, resulting in two of the members being made unalive. Two other members, they were rescued and taken to an American hospital. As of now, this tragic case of mistaken identity is still unfolding. Unfortunately, Y'all internet detectives are creating wild stories and twisting details into conspiracy theories while some politicians are using this tragedy to advance their political agendas. The rumor mill and political tug of war are doing an injustice to the victims, their family, friends, and all American travelers. Can we pause and have a moment of silence for these people? So I'm going to say this, travelers, now that we pause, travelers be aware. As a van lifer, I strictly travel within the U.S. these days. Sure, within the U.S., the country of my birth, I have experienced profiling and found myself in scary situations as a traveler. However, I feel America is the safest option for travelers right now. My few trips out of the country, they were planned by travel agents and I was with large groups, a large group. But looking back, there were a couple of incidents where I couldn't, I could have met the same fate as these four Americans. Once I veered out from the resort and my group to go to a small like town in Jamaica for hair braiding. Although my hair turned out fly and I met a lot of lovely people, I was warned that the area was dangerous. Another time while on a group while on a trip to Cancun and staying at a resort, a few of us rented a car and we accidentally drove into this sketchy looking neighborhood. On a side note, I find it strange when the news reports refer to black people as Americans because they usually don't, but I digress. 
My friends matter to me. I have friends from a co-working group and who are currently traveling internationally or are they planning to do so. Some have even taken up permanent res- residence in other countries, including Mexico. And the founder of the Discord group where our co-working group started has a business focused on house city and international travel. She and others in the group have mostly positive travel experiences and always follow good safety practices however i personally prefer not to travel internationally i ain't going nowhere so i'm going to share these tips and insights to help those who are road trippers like me or seasoned globe trotters like some of my friends stay safe on their journey go get your pen and paper take notes because this is important Number one, you're going to research your destination. I read that Miss McGee, one of the kidnapped victims, had been to the location in the past and felt it was safe. Her mother warned her to be careful, but she still went. The group relied on word of mouth travel, with Miss McGee assuring the others that the area was safe. She probably felt reassured from her past travel experiences and from watching YouTube videos of medical tourism stories of people getting like i said those procedures while it's a good idea to talk to people and watch videos for their opinions and insights it's also important to consult with the u.s travel officials to get a rating of the location if they had done that they would have known that metamoris i can't say it but hey was a level four rating which meant extremely dangerous and do not travel to that location Number two, know the political climate. Mexico, it always seemed like Mexico was in some type of turmoil. Reports indicate that the majority of Mexico is controlled by the cartel, making it unsafe to go. I read a story a while ago about a police department. The entire police department quit. The only person who was brave enough to take the job was a 21-year-old female college student. Yes, real. So there are always wild stories circulating about Mexico. So it's better to err on the side of caution when it comes to personal safety and traveling. Number three, know your surroundings. The group of Americans who were kidnapped were rapidly ambushed. So being aware of their surroundings, it may not have helped. However, in general, it's a good idea to be aware of your surroundings, even in America, where there are sundown towns, gangbangers, gangbanging, neighborhood watch groups that exclude certain people and police profiling. I got a bogus ticket following too closely behind someone I was traveling with. So y'all stay away from too Kamari, New Mexico. Number four, do not rely on a GPS. GPS can have outdated or incorrect information. Even in America, my GPS always gets me lost. In another country, it's even more ha- more likely to happen. So don't rely on no GPS, or don't only rely on a GPS. Number five, avoid alcohol. One friend who didn't go with the four Americans mentioned that they love to party. Partying is not a crime, but drinking too much, it can impair your judgment and leave you in a sticky situation. Number six, cultural awareness. So political and cultural climates can be closely tied. Understanding the political issues and attitudes in a particular country can help you understand the local culture and customs. This can help you avoid any cultural misunderstandings and navigate social situations more smoothly. Number seven, carry identification. Always carry identification with you, including make copies of your passport, your driver's license, and any other important papers. Keep important information in a safe place that you know of. When I was in Cancun, a friend of mine, she lost some papers she needed to get out of the country. And that's why we ended up renting a car and ending up in that dangerous neighborhood. So be sure you know what you do with your paperwork. Number nine. Purchase travel insurance. Consider purchasing travel insurance that covers medical expenses and unforeseen events. You never know when something unexpected just might happen. So this is actually number nine. I said the last thing was number nine. But use authorized taxis. It's recommended to use authorized taxis rather than hailing one off the street. 
um, use verifiable ride companies that will ensure your travel you, you know goes more safely than not a friend I know she got into a unauthorized taxi they had a car accident and the driver didn't have insurance so thankfully she did have insurance so you want to make sure you are using authorized travel um, sources now it wouldn't help these for Americans but it might help you number 10 learn the language as someone who has traveled a lot and belongs to a group of women who travel and move abroad i'm aware of the risks and mishaps that can occur when language barriers and cultural differences come into play the four americans movies four south carolinas in a white minivan take a road trip to mexican border city of matamoras and get kidnapped in march of 2023 the kidnapping of latavia tay mcgee shaheed woodward zendale brown and eric james william should be made into a movie the plot thickens the group is mistaken for haitian drug smugglers and they are taken to a stash house where they are tortured and two are made unalive their ordeal unravels a complex web of themes issues including tragedy mistaken identity political tourism manipulation internet conspiracy theories while the conspiracy theories circulating online about this case are deeply hurtful to the victims families and friends they also add to the story's interest and cinematic potential i can imagine a movie that captures the human drama and emotional twill of the victim's captivity while also exploring the wider social and political content of their tragedy the movie could raise important questions about the perils and promises of international travel the limits of diplomatic protection and the power of online narratives to shape public perception and justice in short the kidnapping and the other uh, road trippers would make a fascinating movie and deserve to be told and retold not only to honor the victims their families but also to educate audiences about the dangers of international travel for medical tourism should a movie be made do tell me in the comment sections below I should have said this in the beginning, but if you're new to this channel, I'm Frankie. The channel is Joy Route. I share my adventures living mostly in a minivan. I share travel tips and tips to keep your energy in order because I'm an enterologist. Um, and I want you to live your best life, which means take the Joy Route. Take the Joy Route. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe you got to be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when i go when i make a video or go live thank you